Hmm. I don't think I will be signing this. If you have to void a transaction for, say, a declined card or something, just refuse to do it. Call a manager over and make them do it. I bet that policy doesn't last long after that. Don't sign it, report to local labor board immediately. So, nearly everyone makes the same mistake and continuously so, but instead of calling an expert and actually making changes to prevent the mistake, that at this point is most likely due to a bad setting on the TIL program, they bully their employees and try to commit wage theft? Sounds like corporate. I wish someone in this group would finally just report this type of action and let us know the outcome. Instead of voiding, say I'm sorry I can process your transaction today, if I void anything they will charge me the cost. And then just do nothing because you can't void without being charged. I would do one of following. Option 1 Draw a big dick, balls, and ball hair on it. Option 2 Staple a labor attorney's business card to it. Option 3 Both. Tell the customer that you have to process the transaction, but you can do an immediate refund. Tell them it's policy, because if you void it, your employer will take that $264.38 out of your paycheck. The first time a customer rips a manager apart for this nonsense, the no voiding policy will disappear. Add it to add don't sign that bullshit. If I void it and it comes out of my paycheck, I'm keeping the item. I paid for it. Sure AF will confuse the customer though. I stopped working retail 20 years ago, but don't you also void a transaction if the customer changes their mind? It's always nice when they break the law in writing. Yeah, don't sign that lol. I think someone posted in the subreddit that employment lawyers cost nothing unless they win. 100 illegal bougie parasite bullshit. Report them and sue without warning. It's funny how this is called void notice. Department of Labor would be very interested in this. Why would you ever sign this? I'd sign a resignation instead. Don't sign that. Another illegal threat, if they tried to enforce this the Department of Labor would be all over them. When leaving a point of sale, you must go be sure to go to the home screen. Psychopathy is a hell of a drug, it lets morons grab the reins. Even if you signed it, that wouldn't make it legal. Here's your quit yikes. Absolutely not. I would write LOL on the date and LMAO on the signed part. Charging employees for poor training and or system. Call over the manager whenever you need to void a purchase. Make it their problem every damn time. That letter smells like bullshit to me. Don't sign it. They can try their scare tactics elsewhere. Pretty sure wherever you are that's illegal. Also, if you're going to write a note like this, make sure it's grammatically correct and makes sense oof. That is literally wage theft and illegal. Email this to your labor board. Just because I would also email it to every news channel, mayor, city council, and absolutely the AG office. Only a judge or the IRS can garnish your pay. This memo is a violation of federal law. You must go be sure to go to the home screen did no one proofread this even. I was shift supervisor at a diner. Closed up for the night and dropped the cash from the cashier into the safe after we both counted it the same. Owner calls in the morning telling me that some of the money was missing from the safe. He tells me he's going to take it out of my check. I tell him that it's not legal and if he does I'm quitting and taking him to the labor board. He charged me for the missing $150. I take him to the labor board and he was out over $3,000. Thanks for the cash my man. Turns out his old general manager knew the safe combo and his cameras were never fixed. Yeah first that's illegal and second it's their crappy POS system causing the issue with allowing employees to do things they shouldn't. This is wage theft. I don't care that they voided a transaction. They're supposed to be trained sufficiently to know to go back to the home screen when a transaction is complete. On that note, I feel like the POS machine should automatically go back to the home screen when a transaction is complete. If you are in the United States or Canada, this is illegal and carries heavy fines. Send this to your state labor board. LOL, Murica. Pretty sure this is illegal to do. That would be a hell no. So who voids it out when a customer scans something by accident after the transaction at self-checkout? How do you all manage to find such shitty jobs? That's highly illegal to dock someone's pay for this, make it the manager's problem. They are lying just a scare tactic. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. This is illegal, BTW. If that's anywhere in the US it's not enforceable. 
and may even be grounds for a lawsuit. Isn't it great when they put their law-breaking rules in writing? This is illegal. You cannot dock an employee's check for any transaction on a POS void or shortage. You may discipline the employee write-ups or even terminate an after-the-fact press charges via the police but cannot dock an employee's payroll for POS mistakes or shortages. Contact your labor board and make a complaint. And do not sign that ridiculous piece of paper. The manager is an idiot and should not be managing any business or person. That's super illegal. Isn't that illegal? Illegal. I would void transactions till the company told me I own them 100k. This is when you don't sign. Make them talk to you about it and say I'll sign this but it doesn't change the fact that this is illegal and you probably don't want to enforce it. Up would you mind sharing which company you work for please? Take a physical copy of that and proceed directly to a labor lawyer. Do not PASCO, do not collect $200, proceed directly to their office. This is illegal. If they have an employee theft problem then it's time to start a loss prevention program that checks up on workers and terminates them or has them arrested on a case-by-case -case basis. Ha! Every time my old company wanted me to sign something I would scribble Mickey Mouse. Sometimes I'd add a J. Once I signed Richard Nixon. In 20 years no one has ever noticed. In the US illegal. This is theft. I would make a void, let them charge me and then file a police report and contact the BBB. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to void anything for any reason. You're going to have to pay the full amount now, and if you'd like a partial refund you'll need to speak to customer service. Usually refunds take about 5-7 business days. Blindly sign it. Get charged, take that fuck to the labor board and close the business down. A fucking monkey could have written that better, no way is that legally binding. It's also illegal in most states to take cash drawer discrepancies out of someone's pay. Pay is something you earn and are entitled for. You are almost never liable for losses of the company that occur while you're working unless you engaged in active theft at which point their only option is to involve the police sue you for damages. Most of these laws are voided if you give consent to them for docking your pay. Do not sign that waiver. Make them fire you. And I'd say use that as evidence when you sue them. This is not the way you fix the issue. Too many voided transactions? Start requiring employees to log them and then actually review the paperwork. Also, and expect this new policy is directly related to suspected theft, set up policies for before and after till balancing. Regardless you can't charge people for voided transactions. Eli 8 What does voiding out a payment even do? Doesn't it just cancel the transaction and pretend it never happened? Where is the problem that makes it so this a snug it wants to take that out of someone's paycheck? It's also not at all legal to charge employees for avoided sale. That's theft lol. They get mad at you for going too slow and bothering management. They get mad at you for voiding the transaction on a difficult customer decline card to keep the line moving when a manager fails to show up. I do not miss retail, just sucks the life force right out of you. Dot so either. A this store has a serious problem with employees using voided transactions to steal shit in which case they have much bigger issues at heart. Or B upper management somehow thinks cashiers can magically cause an invalid unactivated decline credit card just work and give the store money anyhow. Maybe instead of just taking money out of employee paychecks you should actually investigate why there's so many voided transactions. Yup manager issue not the employee. This doesn't even make any sense. If the transaction never went through, the products were not sold nor were they given away, so why TF would a void ticket result in you having to pay for said products? You'd think having to pay for the voided transaction means you technically paid for the products. Or am I just being stupid? Pretty sure this isn't legal. Start calling your local workforce management. I love how motherfuckers think that just because you write something down on a piece of paper and then have somebody sign it that it then somehow becomes like a fucking 10th commandment or something. This shit is just a blankie for rich people and they can suck it. Remember when companies didn't treat employees like slaves? I'm old enough to remember that. Managers have used voiding receipts to steal from the tills before, and to cover their asses they say it's the employees who do it. The problem is there are cameras on the employees, so how again are the employees the ones stealing money? Basically, if a manager does this right here, they're voiding receipts to steal money and want to make you pay for it. Do not sign it, contact corporate and tell them the manager is stealing money this way.